Yo, 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 how y'all doing, man? My name is Kevin Brown, and you watching Bedtime Stories. <laughs> I got a book called I'll Go and Come Back. And it looks real interesting to me, man. It looks like they're in India or somewhere, man. I love reading about stories that are far away from where I live, man. Because I like to learn, man. And I like to see the similarities between me and someone who is nothing like me. Because at the end of the day, they kind of are something like me because we're all the same, man. So I just want to check them out and see how interesting they live, man. So I'm real excited about getting into this book, man. Hope y'all excited too. And y'all know what to do, man. Go get your snacks. Go get your grandma, your granddaddy. You know what I'm saying? Your auntie, your uncle, your brother, your sister. Go get everybody, man, because everybody needs a good bedtime story. Not just kids. Everybody, man, because it takes our imagination out of this world, man, and it takes us on a trip without even leaving our house, man. So come on, man, go get everybody, man. We about to read I'll Go and Come Back. I'll Go and Come Back, written by Rajani LaRocca, illustrated by Sarah Palacios. For the first time since I was a baby, I flew across the world to see aunties and uncles, cousins, brothers and cousins, sisters, and Cedar Patty. But India was so different from home. The sky thundered and poured through the humid air. Mosquitoes whined when I tried to sleep. Street dogs woke me at dawn. Trucks honked and children chattered and neighbors gossiped on crowded roads. Everyone stared. In the morning and evening, the house was packed with relatives and friends. But during the day, with my cousins at school, I was lonely. I wanted to go home. Then, Cedar Patty called me, Gioti Va Ma. She didn't speak much English, and I didn't speak much Tamil, but we understood each other. Bath, she asked. Teeth? All finished, I said, and then I tried the Tamil. Yella Aki. She laughs and took my hand. Rangoli, said Sister Pit Patty. We made designs in the courtyard with colored sand, bright pink and sparkling blue and dazzling gold. She dressed me in the same colors and tucked strands of jasmine in my hair. She took me to the market. I'd never seen so many types of vegetables. One looked like it could slither away. Padavao, said Sister Patty. Snake gourd. Let's get okra instead, I said. At home, we played a game called Palangushi. Sometimes Patty counted wrong. She liked to win. See the Patty made chapatis hot hot and flipped them with bare fingers. I ate one with spicy okra and cool yogurt rice. We spent our days playing and reading and cooking. At night, we sipped warm milk with saffron to bring us sweet dreams. When it was time to go home, I didn't want to. I held Patty's hand with, with his soft, soft skin. Her sorry rusted and smelled of silk. Goodbye, I said. Patu Varaya asked Sita Patty, will you go and come? And I remember that no one in India just said goodbye. I'll go and come back, I said. Patu Varin. The next summer, Sita Patty flew across the world to visit us in America. She seemed smaller than I remembered. The sun blazed and the air conditioner drone. The street Stayed empty and silent. Patty told my mom she couldn't hear so much as a sparrow chirp from inside the house. Patty looked lonely. I wondered if she wanted to go home. I still didn't speak much Tamil and she still didn't speak much English, but we understood each other. Bath? I asked. Teeth? Yella Aki, she said. She remembered to put them in. I laughed and took her hand. Hopscotch, I said. 
We drew on the sidewalk with chalk, bright pink and cool blue and sunny yellow. I dressed Patty in the same colors. We shopped at the grocery store. She'd never seen so many types of bread. Chapati? Asked Patty. Tortilla? I asked. We played a game called Chutes and Ladders. Patty still liked to win. So did I. But I counted right most of the time. We made hot, hot quesadillas. I ate them with salsa and Patty chose coconut chutney. We spent our days planning and reading and cooking. At night, we sipped hot cocoa to bring us sweet dreams. When it was time for Patty to go home, I didn't want her to. Patty said, patois barin, and then I'll go back and come back. Her skin was soft as ever. Patty flew back home to India, but our love stretched across the world, and we both remembered. Our promises to come back. The end. Oh, man. Hey, this book touched me, man, because... It taught me a real good lesson, dawg. And that lesson was, we might speak different languages, but we all have the same heart, man. We all can understand each other if we just give each other a chance, man. And that's why traveling is so important. Yeah, we travel when we read books because we take our imagination on a trip. But if you ever get a chance, go as many places as you can, man. Because it's important to see how alike we are, and also different, man, because we can learn things from people all over the world and bring them back here. We can share, man. We, we can share our thoughts and our beliefs and make the perfect world, man, but we just got to work together, and that starts by traveling, man. I'm actually going to Africa next month, man, and I'm so excited, man, because I can't wait to learn some new things, man. I love to learn, man. Every day, I try to be a better person, man. Every day, I try to be the best me, and being the best me, I need to see other people, man, because at the end of the day, we're all alike, man. We're all similar, so I just want to see, you know what I mean, what I can take from over there and bring back over here so I can make America better. You feel me? Now, tell me what y'all learned, man, because I know y'all learned something even better than me because y'all are even better than me, man. Put it in the comments, text me, email me. Just let me know, man, and we're going to come back tomorrow night, and we're going to do it all over again, man. So y'all know what to do, man, like always. Be you, be true, and be back tomorrow morning for the early word. And remember, man, always try to travel as much as you can, man. See the world. The world is big. The world is way bigger than the things that you see every day, the, your neighborhood, your friends. It's other people across the world who can be your friends, man. Because like I always tell y'all, we're all the same. Go meet them people, man. Get out into the world and have fun and make memories, man. It will be